This is how it comes boxed. Quick reference card. Control unit. Motor, it's already preset, ready to bolt on. Bolt and belt. This is the 900 watt servo motor kit to upgrade your little machine shop, so-called high torque mini mill. The motor that the high torque mini mill comes with produces about three and a half newton meters of torque. It's really not a high torque motor. This is gonna produce 11 newton meters of torque, probably four times the amount of power that the original mill was sold with. It's gonna bolt right on. It's already set up and tested on the test mill here. You're also gonna have reverse on the fly. I will explain the RPMs and go through it on the mill itself when it's done. It, it's just pull the old one off, pull the belt out, bolt this on, find a place to secure this on the wall behind your mill, or there are some mounting brackets and stuff that we make available. And go, it comes pre-programmed and ready for the machine. This is the motor that we're gonna install for the little machine shop high torque. This wasn't originally a high torque, but it's been fitted with the high torque drive system and the high torque uh, motor belt housing. Installation of the new motor is simple enough. Just remove the little machine shop belt cover and their control system. You will have all four bolts to remove. This one only has two because it's a demo. Take the cover off, remove your belt, install our belt. It's the correct size for the motor it came with. Maybe hold the belt back a little bit to get the cover back on. And screw the cover back on. Now you're ready to put the motor on. The four bolts are included. The wiring is set to go this way. That's where I'm gonna put it. Just grab the belt, bring it up a little bit and hook it on the pulley. Like that. Always get all four bolts in, but not tight before you try to tension the belt. There's not gonna be really any travel because the slots all allow it to move that way and it's already tied at the belt now. So just push it that way and tighten all four bolts. Locate a good location for your control unit. Screw it on the wall. This is built for them. Plug is already insulated from metal filings. Plug it in and turn it on. Control unit's already programmed for the machine. After you get your control unit mounted on the wall, power it up. It's gonna come fully programmed. There are some things you're gonna run into. Starting with PD. This means that it's already on, already has the speed, or this is already on. All you do is turn this to zero it just reset itself. The other way is turn this off. Okay, now you're ready to go, except for you won't get the PD if this is depressed because it's almost the same as that. It means it's also turned off. So if you try to run it, nothing will happen until you release the e-stop button. Now you are ready to go. 3500 is top speed of the 900 watt motor. That is reverse. It's already set and default at a good operating stop and start. So, bottom speed. 
Push boat, scroll to two, push select. That is the slow speed, it's currently set to. If you want it to run slower or faster, adjust it here. We're gonna bring it all the way down to 200. Two select. Then we're gonna go up to two. And we're gonna do the top speed all the way up to 3,500 for the test. I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. Push select, we're ready to go. Now it should run as slow as 200, as fast as 3,500. Okay, let's do some quick speed calculations. We'll run the motor at 1,000 RPMs. That gives us 744 RPMs on the spindle. That's about 1.33 on the motor to one revolution on the spindle. Motor will run 200 RPMs to 3,500 RPMs. We should get anywhere from 150 to about 2,600 on the spindle. So let's see if we can actually verify that. We'll speed it at 200 and check. 143.9. Thirty-five hundred and check twenty-six hundred and sixteen. That's pretty good. Next, let's uh, actually cut somewhere. Okay, you've probably seen this before, but we're going to start out with an eleven thirty seconds and just drill a solid hole through six oh six one aluminum, and then we're going to run a tap so we can show you the power tap. We're going to use an M eight. Should be about 500 RPM. Just drill it. Oops, too much oil. Okay, this is an M83 flute tap from China. They're all right. We're gonna run the motor at 390 RPM. That's gonna be about 300 on the tap. We'll hit the reverse when it gets down here somewhere and come back the other way. That came out okay. M8 bolt screws in nice, nice and free. Not bad for just drilling tap. Okay, we've switched to a three-inch fly cutter and a two-inch wide piece of the 6061 aluminum. We're gonna try to surface it with the fly cutter. See how it does. Perhaps 2800 RPM on the motor, that's probably about 2200. Go down 5, 10. Let's try 10 first, see what it does. Not too bad. Let's try 20,000 and see what happens. 5, 10, 15, 20. Well, not too bad. Do you think we can cut off 40,000? Instead of 20 on a 2 inch wide piece of 6061, let's give it a shot and see what happens. Okay, let's give it a shot. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, ooh, 40, that's a lot. Let's see what happens. If it starts acting up, I'm going to stop. the bevel in the 
cut right there. That's a lot. 40,000 in one shot. I'm probably going to stop about halfway across and let you see what's really going on here. Okay, let's stop right there. Okay, that's the cut right there. It's about one millimeter thick. But this is, well, actually it's a little, it's about two millimeters thick. Uh, that's quite a cut all at the same time. I think we're gonna wrap it at that. Oh. This is what's coming off of the cutter. Not bad. No load noticed on the motor. I did run into the stability of the bed was having a little problem. I had to stop, oil up the screw, uh, and oil up the uh, slide, and that improved it. It probably needs to be tightened. I'm going to wrap this one. Thank you for watching.